Hello all, this is Mike, uh, aka The Rebel Preacher. And today I was thinking, I was listening, you know, I do a lot of driving on my jobs and everything like that, and was thinking and listening to some podcasts. And it's easy to see what's going on in this world today as electronics and entertainment and music and games are just taking over our society. I mean, we see all people do is play games. All they do is 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 watch all this junk TV, and they don't. It's just like our lives have changed. Just like we are not even in the same dimension we used to be when I was growing up. And we're gonna go back a little while, but uh, you know there was always times like when uh, I remember when I was young. Uh, my grandfather and grandmother were alive, and we would go over there. It seemed like every weekend. I may be wrong, but it seemed like we went over there every weekend. And what we would do is, is uh, like during the summer, Papa would bring home a thing of corn, or Mama would have green beans, and we sat on the front porch and and and, and you know, uh, shuck the corn, uh, you know, uh, sh the peas. We either uh, took the peas out of the, uh, the pot, or we. Uh, had green beans, we would separate them, and we would spend hours on the front porch talking. And I learned a lot from these, from my grandparents and my parents because we actually were spending time together and I was listening to history. And with my parents, you know, especially, you know, we always talked about the, you know, everything. My daddy told me all about his childhood, and mama would tell me about hers, and, you know, and I was learning about the history of my family. Well, I do the same thing with mine, you know, tell them stories and everything. They think, I think they think I'm crazy. But I don't see a lot of this going on today. I don't see a lot of communication with people to the point that we want to really learn, not spirituality or, or that, we want to learn about who we are. And I'm afraid that's what we have is we have a generation who don't know who they are. They don't understand who they are. And it concerns me. And I don't <clears throat> I don't know that we'll ever come back from this. I don't think video games will ever go away. I don't think that entertainment excuse me. As you see <laughs> sorry. As you see with the uh, the Oculus and these other things, these platforms are just taking people's lives. And I'm not condemning it. If you do it, have fun. God bless you, whatever. But take time to talk to people. Listen to elderly people. Listen to their stories. You can actually learn from them. Listen to the tales they tell. Listen to the, the folklore they tell you. Because you truly can learn and find yourself in these stories. You're not going to find yourself in these video games. These video games are like drugs and sex. Differ. They, they stimulate your mind in a form of ecstasy. Conquer divide, win, whatever. But your brain needs time to process of understanding who you are, first of all, as a species, as a spirit, and understand who you are within your family ranks, within your tribe or whatever. You need to know who you are. Do you know the stories of your grandfather, grandmother? Do you know the story of your parents? Do you know any of these stories? It may not all be great, it may be a bad story, but a bad story is better than no story at all. So, take time. Listen. Listen to people. When you go to the grocery store, listen to the elderly. Listen to them talk to you. You know, some of my greatest schooling within religion has been listening to men of wisdom. Men of wisdom. I've listened to a lot of scholarly people. I've listened to a lot of theologians. And I learn a lot. But man, from these old, you know, especially within Christianity, when I got with some of these old Pentecostal preachers, didn't have TVs, and they lived what they believe, man, I learned a lot from them. And the same thing true within paganism. You listen to these people that's been living it, not as a fad or cringy kind of paganism, but just back to the land, or even Jews who just truly love their halakha and their walk. Not because they have to or they don't. It's just a part of who they are. This is what really changes generations. And this is the problem with the generations we have today. 
There's no foundation, people. There's no foundation. We have people jumping from religion to religion, and I have done this. I have jumped, gone from faith to faith, and I'm still going. But as long the way, I take my uh, 13-year-old and I, you know, the five-year-old that's living with us, and I share with them what we're doing and what we're learning in this process. And it's really been fascinating how my 13-year-old has just, just plugged in to this, and she's learning as we go. So take time, step back, and talk to people. Talk to your neighbors. Talk to the elderly. Talk to people at work. Not about your latest games or football games and stuff like that. Find out about who we are as a species and where we've come from. You're not going to find it in a book. You're going to hear it through stories. And it's time you start sharing your story with other people. And letting them share their stories with you so that we can communicate and learn. It's important, man. We're here together. We are a hive mentality, believe it or not. And we need each other. So, that's my, that's my video. Step back from the entertainment and plug into each other. Thank you.